really blaming this bender on me? We were at a crossroads. This thing could have gone either way, and then you took up my challenge. You said you'd travel the world with me. We'd just go out there in the wind together, and maybe we'd find a whole new direction. New bars, new floozies, new direction? Yeah, well, we were out there for one week, and you split and took all my cash. I don't like pub crawls. There was the whole world there in front of us. All those possibilities. And then you quit on me. I don't, I don't like being the ball and chain around your neck. When did I ever say that? You didn't have to say it. I could see you wanted to be free. Don't you get it? I'll never be free of you. And that's the way I like it. Thank you. I'm supposed to believe you're crying in your beer because you missed me? Yeah, I'm supposed to believe that you're just here because Lulu needs me? If you missed me so much, you could have emailed, phoned, or sent me one of those cute little shrunken heads. Have you checked your messages lately? Maybe your old man has tried to contact us while we were in the slammer. Maybe he's got me free to come back across the floor. No calls. Right. And I don't believe your sudden rush of romance. I think you're just covering because I caught up with you. Pumpkin. Popsicle. Popsie. <laughs> come on. You think that I'm just taking advantage of you because of your undying devotion? Actually, I think you're an opportunist without conscience and that I was a fool to ever express anything but contempt. Well, that's just your guilt talking. My guilt? I'm not the one sitting south of the border, swilling tequila and flirting with floozies. I had a great adventure planned for us and you bailed on me, wife. Two days on the road and I was done. I require indoor plumbing and edible food, room service even. I'm more high maintenance than you. So I came home where the plumbing works and the food is in fact edible. No hidden agenda. Well, I just wanted us to find something out on the road there together that was about us. I don't know what you see when you look in the mirror. I'm a realist. That's why we're a doomed pair. What a great team. What a great team. Senor, happy hour. They're a little dry over here. Make it two. Oh, now that's what I like to hear. That's wonderful. There's nothing like a little debauchery. The bond, husband and wife. You know, I have accepted you with all your faults, which are legion, including running away from home, meaning me. Oh, no, not you, sweetheart. Never you. Look, whenever it gets too stifling for you, you create a drama to justify your skipping town. Oof. A lesser man would be dead if he treated his body the way you do. But a lesser man would never have had as much fun as I've had. On the road? Away from me? No, oh, you're the most fun of all. Tracy, you've spoiled me for everyone else. Other women bore the pants off me. Unfortunate choice of words. With all of your scheming and nagging, you are utterly irresistible. Oh, I should know better than to drink with you. Something terrible always happens. Terrible is relative, my pizza tuna pie. Here, have another. Oh, no, Ross. Oh, that was a tragic waste. You know what? Disgusting. You have cost me a lot in misery and money. You lie, you cheat, you make messes, and my family hates you. Oh, I love them. I absolutely love them. We've been had. We've been had. That dirty old goat. Who? 
Who, Edward? Edward. He's not going to call. Know why he's not going to call? Because he's finally got you and me out of his hair. Well, that's a predictably paranoid statement, but it is perfectly plausible point. <laughs> Pretty good. That's good, right? Uh, but um, you're right, Daddy has left us high. Is <laughs> that so dry? <laughs> All right, well, there's no point here in waiting for a call that's never going to call. So, come wife, to the border! <laughs> <laughs>